to Southern Hill Farms out in Claremont, Florida. We are doing it COVID style. It is recommended that we are masked, but if we're socially distancing, it's fine. They have tons of fields. I know they have blueberries, strawberries, pumpkins, some flowers, and many more. They're surrounded by us in all of 360. It was a beautiful day and let's go. So they had tons of shops, restaurants, little pop-up tents, and tons of kid-friendly activities and photo areas. It definitely was something fun and exciting to do, so we were pumped. I highly recommend that you wear boots or shoes. It is very dirty and very muddy. We're out in the country, so we're definitely going to enjoy it. There was a couple clouds, but we weren't too worried about it. First stop, we're going to approach the sunflower field. I absolutely loved this blue little couch that you could take a photo on and you had tons of space to just spread out and enjoy the field. Alright, just look at this big bundle of sunshine. Just oh, so many sunflowers. I thought they were going to be the ones that were like as tall as me, like five feet or more. However, these are great for picking and put them in vases. They even gave us scissors so we can go and I of course had to walk through the field. So beautiful. Jules helped me pick out some sunflowers. He was such a great help. <laughs> it was so beautiful out and we just had so much fun doing this. Just the freedom of being able to just roam around and enjoy the outdoors, pick some flowers. There was some huge bumblebees. I've never seen bumblebees so big before until I went there. They didn't bother us, they just enjoyed these wonderful flowers. All right, and we were just picking our last flower of the day. They always recommended cutting them not too short, but not too big, allowing it to have a long enough stem. <laughs> and there's a huge bee that fell off of it, but that's okay. And a little smooches for the help. How to get my best friend walking through the field. Oh guys, I wish you guys were there. It was just so beautiful and breezy. Now, of course we were hungry and they were known for apple cider donuts. Yes, they actually have a lot more than just donuts there. They have apple cider. They also have teas that they brew and they have other ice creams that they make. So here are the homemade apple cider donuts. We even got the frozen apple cider drinks. And then I even got Mexican street corn, AKA lote. And of course there was a hay ride. Well, as much as there can be here in Florida. You had a little performer, and then that little guy down there was just enjoying his day. He was rocking out to it. <laughs> they had a little market inside, a little bit of the history, and some homemade stuff. Jules loved pointing out stuff from me. They had fake flowers. They had stationary stuff. They even made these awesome lotions and body scrubs. Super cute in the jars. And they have homemade soy candles. I thought it was just super neat. I love little stuff like this. It just makes it so much more homey. They had big soy candles. And then next one, they had the homemade soap. So it's pretty neat. They had different ones. And then you can put in a little baggie. And then, of course, get the loofah with it to get the full experience. And then some honey. Definitely cute little market. And, of course, we had to stop by and get some pumpkins. Jules and I got two little white pumpkins to paint, and then we got one big orange pumpkin to carve. They had great prices and tons of options, and it was definitely crowded. All right, so that was it for our day. It did rain, so we did have to make it short, but it was a beautiful experience, and we definitely would do it again. If you guys want to check it out, make sure you go online and buy your tickets, because it was definitely sold out for the whole week. Alright guys, have a great October and happy Halloween!